Good morning, good morning. Ken Oliver here. Thank you for joining me today. I am so happy to be at the One of a Kind virtual show today. Thank you so much. I see that we've already got some friends joining in. Thank you for joining in. I really appreciate that. Today's demo, and I've got a whole hour, so this is going to be super fun, is Stencil Butters 101. And I'm going to do some things with Stencil Butter that you probably never thought of before. I want to be able to show you to get the most out of the craft products that you buy. And I know you're going to enjoy this. Stencil Butter is an amazing medium. It's from the Crafters Workshop. And it's like a paste, but it has a very, very spreadable consistency. And if you haven't used it before, it is it is just dreamy, I promise you. And so um, make sure as you're watching along to take some notes because if you've purchased stencil butter from me before or if you're thinking about it, today would be the day because there's a coupon code. I'm going to write it down real quick so you can see it. There's my coupon code and it's O-O-A-K and you'll save 15% off of your order. And time is of the essence because it's only good through tomorrow night at midnight. So you've got today and tomorrow to buy. And um, there are about, I think there are 20 colors of stencil butters now. Crafters Workshop is really, really putting out some gorgeous colors for us to use. Um, O-O-A-K, all caps, will save you 15% off of your order through midnight tomorrow. Now, show of hands, has anybody used Sensible Buddy for? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you love it? It is really fun. And um, I know you're going to love this. And today, we're not going to, I'm going to not make cards, but since we're, I'm demoing, we're gonna, I'm going to make bookmarks. And I've got a whole stack of watercolor paper here that um, I just happen to have trimmed off from some journals that I made. And that's going to, and it's the perfect bookmark size. So I'm going to demo as many butters as I can and as many stencils as I can and show you as many techniques as I can within this hour. And my objective today is not to come up with one creative project, but basically my feeling that I have today is to put as much energy and high vibrations in this, as much creativity as I can, so that you can charge your creative batteries and feel that same kind of like wonderful joy that I get out of creating. Uh, because it is definitely like a high vibe kind of thing. And if I can inspire you just a little bit to try something different, that's what I wanna do. I want to inspire in you that joy of crafting, of making something that's beautiful, that you'll love and you'll love sharing it with your friends. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this. Last night, um, I taught a private class locally, and this is what we made. Mm -hmm. And um, this class was called Dragonfly Collage. And um, it was just so much fun. It's made with light and fluffy modeling paste and also... Uh, stencil butters on a mixed media board. Just look at that. It is really, really like a fun piece. So like there's so much that you can do with stencil butters that goes beyond card making. Um, just had so much fun doing that. And then another thing that I wanted to share is that uh, coming up a live class that I'll be teaching online is a uh, watercolor mm -hmm. poppies. And I think that I'm going to schedule that this week. Um, there are still a few kits that have been shipped out that will be um, arriving this week. So I want to make sure that all the kits get to uh, the people who are taking the class with me. But this is going to be fun. You'll find the link at KenOliverCrafts.com. Um, we'll take a mixed media board and some color sparks and create this beautiful painting. I'll give you the uh, traceable download 
that you can trace onto your uh, surface. And then uh, you'll watch the video. It'll be in a live private fa Facebook group um, th this week, probably. And is like just as soon as I can get it scheduled, I want to make sure everybody gets their kits. And then um, the video will be in that Facebook group. And also then I'm going to make it a private video on YouTube. So you can still continue to watch it if you, need, you know, want to take a refresher. But um, fun, fun class. So um, I'm just so ready to get started. Here's the coupon code again, O-O-A-K. That's going to save you 15% off of your order. So um, make sure to write that down, O-O-A-K. And I'll say it 100 times before uh, we're finished here. And you know what? Just while we're here, like, I'm sorry. I can't help, but I have to do this. I had to make a face on that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's me being weird. Um, so you know, like I've shown you plenty of times when we made cards out of um, stencil butter. It's a ton of fun to make cards like this, beautiful. I'm gonna go and show you a lot of techniques on how to get these looks with your stencil butters. Here are two that are stuck together and I have to know what's underneath here. Oh. Hmm. Isn't that pretty? And you'll know, like, you can use stencils with ink, and that gives you, like, a really polished look. This stencil butter gives you a look that is more, like, three-dimensional, more tactile than uh, with just um, ordinary inks. So let's get started. Here are a couple more cards that are made with stencil butters. Just, they're so pretty. And so... I've had lately some friends asking for bookmarks and I discovered that bookmarks also sell really well for a friend of mine who uh, has a store. And so, you know, like I'm going to make some bookmarks because they'll be beautiful. And I'm using a watercolor paper that I've trimmed down from, um, I'm making journals. And then on the backside, we're going to mount them on, uh, something that's called craft text. It's almost like a leather paper thing. It's like very, very durable and you can't rip it. So it would be really good for a bookmark. All right, so let's get started. First thing I want to show you is how to paint a watercolor wash with color spark. I mean, sorry, with stencil butters. Typically you think of like using watercolor powder or watercolor paint to paint a watercolor wash. But with stencil butter, they're water soluble so you can create some really beautiful looks by uh, blending them with water and creating a wash it's really pretty to do so i'm going to use some colors that might seem like a little bit unusual i'm going to use lime green i'm going to use um champagne gold and ocean blue so that's going to give us a really nice, really nice look. And I've already taken my watercolor brush and put it in a little water so I moistened it. And then I'm just going to grab some stencil butter and just paint on a very thin line of stencil butter. I'm going to clean my brush a little bit and pick up some more water. And then I'm just going to wash that down my watercolor paper. See how you can kind of blend out into those gorgeous light tones. It's going to be kind of like an ombre wash. And I'm just going to keep adding some water and just letting that color move down my surface. And in what we're doing today, if you want to grab some watercolor paper and grab your um, stencil butters, and play along with me that is completely awesome i would love that as long as you share a picture of what you make uh today you can share it here on this post or you can um leave it in the comments or you can uh, share it to my facebook page now i'm going to grab some of this beautiful um antique or I'm sorry champagne gold i'm just going to get a little bit of the champagne gold and just pull that in and where the champagne gold and the ocean blue meet, 
it will give us a little bit of a green color. And I don't want to have that to be too pronounced. Let me grab some more of this delicious, glorious champagne gold or champagne. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna keep adding a little water to my brush so that we get that beautiful ombre look. And I'm just gonna pull that down and let those colors kind of blend where they blend. You get a little bit of green there where they overlap. It's really, really pretty. And now some lime green. And it doesn't take a lot. The color's real intense. So you wanna be kind of sparing with it and use water. And you know, it's just amazing that you can use this kind of medium to create a watercolor look. And you know what this kind of looks like when I stand back and look at it? It looks like a sunset or a sunrise. You've got the golden sun there. You've got a, a foreground that is like a field or a meadow. And isn't that really, really pretty? I want to dry this real quick and then we're going to do something else on top of it. And I'm super excited because I, hold, I have a whole hour today and I wanna make sure that I don't go over because sometimes I can do that. I, I get too excited uh, talking and then I get too involved with other things and forget about the time. So the thing that I love about using stencil butter as a watercolor wash is it is a little bit opaque and it's kind of like a gouache and in that then you get do you see that shimmer it's very very pretty it's got a really gorgeous shimmer to it and you know i think the way that i'm going to finish this off and only because like of the time of year that it is to me this looks so much like a a, a field at sunrise one of the stencils I'm going to use is um, called Shocks of Wheat. And I'm going to put some Shocks of Wheat in here and gold and that gold stencil butter. And I think it's going to be fabulous. So I'm going to grab that stencil butter and my palette knife. And again, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really just honored to be able to be part of the one of a kind uh, virtual show it is the highlight of my month and i'm lucky because i've made we've made so many good friends on the one of a kind show i just love everything that brian and carol are doing and all the people who support one of a kind thank you so much Um, I'm in the creative zone because I started to almost sing when I was doing this. La, 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 la. I always wanted to sing. Do you ever do that when you're in the creative zone? Just like start singing or humming or I always like that when you get that feeling. It's wonderful. Now we're going to lift that up. Let's see what we've done. And oh, that is really pretty. Isn't that nice? And it's just the time of year around here when the wheat is ready. And um, it's kind of like all of a sudden, like from one day, it goes from a big green field to a big golden field. And it's so, so pretty. Now, I'm going to grab some paper towels. I know that I have some here.
I had to step away over on the counter in the other room. But just look at how pretty those golden sh shocks of wheat are. They're really, really pretty. And I know that like anyone who gets this will love it. Now, to uh, really set this off, I'm gonna use the heat tool and I'm gonna apply the heat in such a way that it makes the bubble, the butter bubble up. So in these wheat shocks, like it's gonna give us some added texture. And how this works is there's moisture inside the stencil butter, right? And it's a, it has a water content. And whenever we apply heat to it, it heats the water content and it actually makes the, the water inside the acrylic foundation heat up and expand. And when it expands, it creates a bubble in the acrylic medium. This is pretty much dry and I can just go ahead and make this one so you see what it looks like when it's done. I probably am not going to um, finish every single one of them, but this one's going to just be so pretty. It's exquisite. So in this one, we had two really cool techniques. We created a watercolor wash with stencil butter and we bubbled our butter. I'm going to turn this over and give it a good press. And I use liquid adhesive because this is a heavier background. And I want it to be like really nice and firm and well, well glued down. Really pretty. Let's do another one. And, um, I've got a whole stack of watercolor paper and an hour to play. So here's another stencil I just love. This is a daisy spread. It's a slimline stencil for a slimline card. And we're going to apply it to a bookmark. And like I said, I have all this watercolor paper that from trimmed journals that's um, two inches by six inches. And so I thought, what a perfect way to... Uh, use that up and not let it go to waste, but then just to make a bunch of bookmarks. And I think we'll, what we'll do is create some traditional kind of color with this using some marigold stencil butter. So in this one, we're going to really paint with the stencil butter. We're going to paint with it. So that is fun. And I'm going to use some chocolate for the centers. That's going to be at the very end. And... I would like to use some gamboge and I have ev seemingly every color of stencil butter on the table except gamboge. I'm going to grab that. It's right here. No worries. Gamboge is an amazing color. It's a brilliant yellow. It's a very sunny yellow. Isn't that beautiful? And so the other thing we're gonna do with this today is finger paint. And I'm just gonna dip my finger inside the little pot of stencil butter and just lightly paint each little petal. And they're gonna be like a hundred reasons why you shouldn't stick your finger in your pot of color. And um, to that, I'm going to say, oh, well, do it anyway. <laughs> now, some people don't like to do that because they think that you'll get like um, bacteria in your jar and it'll like get stuff in there. And 
You know what? If that if your jar sits on the shelf so long that it has a chance to grow um, bacteria, you're not creating enough, <laughs> and you should be making more art. But should, sh shoulds can get us in trouble sometime. La 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 la. Sing along with me. So I'm strategically painting with this stencil butter. I'm using, like I said, gamboge on the petals, but I'm also making sure that I paint on the petals kind of toward the outside because I want to come back in the centers of the petal closest to the middle and use a little bit of this gorgeous marigold and just kind of blend that around. I don't want it to be a lot. I want it to look kind of like a sunflower or a rutabecchia or a daisy that's got like some brilliant color in the, in the petals. And it doesn't take a lot to get a really nice effect. I like showing techniques like this because they're relatively low tech. You don't need a machine. You don't need any kind of anything fancy other than your finger. And your finger is really the best little tool that you've got. Now I'm going to grab some of this delicious chocolate stencil butter. And I'm going to do my, my centers. And it doesn't have to be a lot. A little goes a long, long way with this. Oops. And because we've used like finger painting here, look at that. How pretty is that? When you lift that up, the application is fairly thin and you don't have to dry it a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and dry a little bit right now. Thank you so much for sticking with me today. I uh, hope you're enjoying my demo and that you're feeling inspired. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am because it is my ultimate pleasure and joy to be able to like be here creating with you today. And I hope that you like it that I do demos. I always think like that probably, um, if that's a little bit off center, um, you need a little bit of a creative break in between classes. And um, I know like for me, like if I am in a whole day retreat making card classes like the entire day, sometimes I need to just sit back and relax a little bit and just um, cool my jets because uh, creativity is hard work and it's mental work. Oh, that's so pretty. And you know, this is just my, my brain working. What we need to do with this is make a little bit of a watercolor wash behind it. So I'm going to go back to the um, gamboge and grab a little bit of gamboge. And I'm going to grab a little bit of water and I'm going to make a watercolor wash to put behind this. But it's going to be oh so transparent or translucent. I don't want it to be like super, super dark. You know, um, I hope that you're seeing there are ways that you can use these mediums that you've never thought of before, because that's really what I want to do is to show you some ways to get the most out of your craft supplies. It's always fun when you see something different and your mind kind of clicks and thinks, oh, you know, I could do this or I could do that. I could use that medium to do this. And um, it's really a beautiful way to like, you know, just let yourself be inspired and think new things. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it looks like that looks like the heart of summer. 
right there. I'm going to give it a little bit of a dry. And just look how beautiful this is going to be on that black background. Isn't that nice? I'm going to go back and glue this later because I don't want to spend all the time doing this. Now, um, it's almost time for the 4th of July. And I have an idea of how we can use some stencil butter to make something that looks patriotic. And I'm going to use a stencil that you might not think of as looking like patriotic. It's called Abstract Shape Landscape uh, from the Crafters Workshop by uh, Julie uh, Balzer. And um, so to me, when I see this, I see uh, stripes and I see stars, these little dots. And um, I have a, there's a star stencil on my table somewhere, but I can't find it. And I had intended to use that star background with, um, with this part of it, but I can't find it. So we're going to make this into something patriotic. Trust me, it's going to look really cool. I'm going to grab a piece of watercolor cardstock that I've already cut. And I'm going to get some gorgeous colors that you might not have seen before. Here's denim. Denim is a gorgeous color. And some red or some barn door. It's a beautiful muted red. So down here where there, there are stripes, I'm going to use the barn door to paint the stripes with stencil butter. And it's not going to take a lot. I'm going to have to turn this around so I can see it. And there are some almost like chevron designs. I'm going to go ahead and do them in the red also. You know, um, it's pro I'm going to say it's maybe a good thing that I can't find the stars. Did you know that using the flag on anything other than a flag actually goes against the flag code? So when you see people wearing it on their hats, on their shirts, or draping their bodies in it, that is, and I'm serious, you look this up, that is the ultimate disrespect when people like wave or wear the flag or wrap their bodies in a flag. Uh, the flag code says that you shouldn't only touch the flag when you're raising or lowering it or, uh, you know, putting it away. And so like, I'm kind of weird about, I don't like to always like, put the flag on something, but this will kind of give us the impression of a flag without using the whole flag on it. And this looks like the 4th of July. It's going to be very patriotic looking. Now, my mind is singing like one of those songs like you hear on the 4th of July that's like da 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 I live in a place that is quintessentially like Americana, small town where there's a band, you know, like a town band and all of that kind of stuff that it like says Americana. Now look how pretty that is. That looks just like the 4th of July.
I'm going to dry that. And we'll bubble it up. It'll make it look exciting. And um, this is great uh, thing to do because I know a few veterans who I could um, gift this bookmark to. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's really going to show on that black background too. Now to finish this off, I'll put a cord on it and I've got some red and blue sequins that will be stunning on this and really kind of give it that stars and sparkle that it, that it needs. Isn't that cool? You know, and while we're like, uh oh, I got some stuff on there. I'm just set that aside to dry. While we're doing the stars and the stripes, here's another one that is just, uh, it's called basket weave. That would be wonderful to do with those same, that same colorway. So I'm gonna lay that down, put my stencil across it. And what I'll do is the uh, lines that are going horizontally, we'll do with the blue, and the lines that are going vertically, we'll do with a red. And this time I think I'm going to switch it up and use some crimson and some ocean blue. That's going to give us a bit of a different look. And that's another amazing thing about using the stencil butters. There are like so many colors to choose from. And I always like it when I've got lots of color choices. I'm going to clean my palette knife now because we're going to dip into some brilliant crimson. Look at that gorgeous red color. And then anywhere where there are stripes that go vertically, we're going to swipe it down there. Swipe down. And you know what? Um, from all the classes I've been teaching lately and I just kind of forget this sometimes and I, I'm reminding myself right now and I'm reminding you right now too, nothing has to be perfect. So I've got a little bit of uh, red in my blue and I've got a little bit of blue in my red and I am really comfortable with that, with the way that it looks. You know, sometimes you discover wonderful, happy accidents that way because at some point somebody put peanut butter in chocolate and decided that it was fabulous. And I agree. <laughs> now check this out. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a basket weave. And I think that's the name of the stencil, basket weave. Really nice technique there. I'm gonna clean up my edges a little bit and put this aside to dry. I'm getting a whole stack of beauteous. Now, you know, I've been waiting to do this one because it is so pretty. And this, and it's kind of, this is another seasonal one, but it's like off because it's called um, Snowflake Sparkle. And I'm going to show you how to create a background with. Um, stencil butter by just scraping it across your surface and then 
will use that star spark or the uh, snowflake sparkle on top of it to make a really pretty Christmas or winter time um, bookmark. And we're going to use that be beautiful denim again. It's a really pretty, like, kind of nighttimey blue. And you might not have ever thought of doing a background this way before. I've showed you already how you can use it for a watercolor wash. Now I'm just going to scrape this across the back and create an even thin layer of color across this background paper. And um, you might not have ever thought of this before, but it's a wonderful way to create beautiful, colorful backgrounds. Now we've got that gorgeous nighttime sky. It's a winter sky. I'm going to clean up my knife. Up. See, look how pretty that is. It's really, really nice. I'm going to clean up some of my mess here, too. So, um, I have to tell you something. I'm going to a little um, a soiree this afternoon, and I need to take a gift. And I don't have any gift paper, and I don't exactly want to go spend 15 bucks on gift wrap, a bow, a card, and... Um, you know, all the, all the trappings and paper that's just going to get ripped up and thrown away. So I've got some beautiful designs on my papers that are underneath here that I'm going to pick up later and use as gift wrap. Call me silly, call me cheap, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so there's another way that you can use stencil butter is to create um, wrapping paper. Oh, this is so pretty. And see, when you use it as a background, you can kind of get that translucent look. And it's got that beautiful shimmer in it. Now, to really get this little party started, we're going to get that snowflake sh uh, sparkles stencil and I'm going to grab some pearl white stardust butter My lids don't want to come off because they've been sitting here too long. They have been ignored and they're not happy with me about being ignored. So I'm going to grab that pearl white. You know, I'm just probably going to use pearl white stencil butter because I think I'll get a good result out of that. Literally, like, all my lids on these uh, butters are, like, really on there. So I've got um, gorgeous champagne gold stardust butter. And we're going to put a layer of that on that gorgeous blue background. And let's see what we do. I think it's going to be fantastic. The stardust butters are wonderful. They've got really, like glimmery particles in, in them that just sparkle and shine. Oh, that is gorgeous. And the Stardust Butters are really unique because they have a little bit of a grit to them and it's a medium that is kind of transparent. So you get like this really heck of a look that is just, it's just so gorgeous. And I'm going to dry it with the um, heat tool. And that's also going to pop up this 
stardust butter and bubble it. And it bubbles in a completely different way than the stencil butter. What is gorgeous about this stardust butter on this background is it has a very 3D look. It's a very, very dimensional. And whenever you start to apply the heat, it makes it even more pronounced. Look at that. That is beauteous. See how that, I think you can see the depth of that. I'm going to turn a little bit sideways and you can see that it's like very, very dimensional. See how thick that is? I'm not focusing very well on it, but it's really cool because it like, it makes it so, so, so dimensional. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And that's another idea that I think would be like, it would be fun to make gift wrap like that, or at least a little part of a gift wrap or a tag. That is beauteous. Okay, I'm gonna lay that to the side. We're getting a whole pile of fun things here. All right, so um, if you follow me anywhere, you're going to know that like I'm a plant person. I love my plants and uh, this is my favorite time of year. And I've got like, you would not believe the, how, like how my plants are like really taking off and growing. And um, here's one that I'm just, I can't wait to create a bookmark with this. It's called banana leaves. There's another one at, um, on my website too. That is, um, I think it's called tropical foliage and it's got, um, monstera leaves it has banana leaves and bird of paradise leaves and ginger and it's beautiful so that would also be very good for this so i'm going to lay this down and we're going to do a little bit of an ombre look on this with some various greens we're going to use chartreuse we're going to use terra verde green and i think also some lime green for a really bright pop of color And I'm going to turn this, I'm going to turn this this way. And there's a reason I want to turn it this way. Because I'm going to put some here, some here. I'm having so much fun and I hope that you are too. I'm uh, getting a lot of pure joy from uh, just playing, just unconstructed playtime. You know, unconstructed playtime is one of the most important things about growing your creativity. It really, really is because whenever you have unconstructed playtime, your mind gets to think and process things differently than if you have a structure. And you can even read about this for children, that unconstructed playtime is whenever they learn the most and learn how learn problem solving skills. So I'm going to lay down some of this gorgeous chartreuse. And then we're going to like just spread all of this and make a beautiful ombre look like that. Oh, that's exciting. Wait till you see this. Oh yeah. Take me to the tropics. That is so pretty. So there's a way to do an ombre look 
by applying your stencil butter across the edge of her stencil and then dragging it all at once. And look at that gorgeous technique and how that looks. It's shimmery. It's really nice. I'm going to clean up my edges just a little bit. And then um, I'm not going to dry it because that's going to take more time yet that I don't want to take away from demoing. And um, if you're just joining in or if you forgot or you didn't see that part of the demo, the coupon code today is OO. AK. O O A K. And when we use this code at checkout, you're going to get 15% off of your order. And um, that's on already low sale prices. It's not everything that's on the website. So use that code O O A K. And time is of the essence because this code is only good till tomorrow at midnight. Okay. Tomorrow at midnight. So O O A K. AK to save 15% off your order. Okay, now since it is summer and we just did some, some um, plants, we're gonna do some flowers now, some gorgeous flowers. I'm gonna have a whole slew of bookmarks to do and I'm very happy about that. And this is called, I think, Floral Cluster. And we're going to use some pretty new pastel -y colors. I want to use something like, um, there's some, oh, look at this watermelon. It's a gorgeous pink stencil butter isn't that nice thank you so much for all your likes and comments i really appreciate it i really really do i hope you're feeling inspired today so i'm going to finger paint again because last time that brought me a lot of joy and i want to keep keep that joy level up there so we've got some watermelon going on in the center of our flower I want to find another color of pink. There's a beautiful new pink lemonade, but I might not have put that on the table, which is okay because I'm going to grab some fuchsia because it's that fuchsia is hot, hot, hot too. And fuchsia is like the perfect color for summertime. It's brilliant. And we'll just lightly blend those together. And I want to paint the center of my flowers with a gorgeous yellow. And I think to stand up to the colors that we've already put in here, the gamboge is gonna be my go-to. Um, there's a gorgeous sunshine yellow, but I think that gamboge is really gonna kind of float on top of this and really kind of stand out. And we're gonna do leaves, and the leaves I wanna do in a striking color, so rather than green, we're going to use turquoise because that's really gonna pop with those brilliant fuchsia flowers.
And you're probably thinking to yourself right now, really? Really? You just fingerprinted that whole thing? And I'm going to say, yes. Behold, isn't that pretty? I just love the way that looks. It looks like a, it looks like a watercolor painting or like that you've painted something. Isn't that nice? Very, very nice. Now, another way to apply a background with stencil butter is to use a brayer. I've got a whole pile of beautiful bookmarks over here. So I'm gonna grab a brayer and a little bit of stencil butter. And we wanna use a color that we haven't used yet. So check this out, hydrangea. Ooh, it is luscious. Luscious. And I'm just going to grab a tiny bit with my palette knife. And the reason you want to use a brayer is that it gives you a very uniform uh, background that is without brush marks or palette knife marks. It's going to be very, very smooth. And I have enough of this on my brayer that we can do a second one. Oh my goodness, I'm just looking at the clock. And it's almost time for me to be done. And I'm not anywhere near ready for that. And that's okay, though. I'm going to come up with something beautiful to put on these. I can't believe our time is already gone. I've had so much fun. And I hope that you have to really enjoyed uh, just some unconstructed playtime today. And constructive play time and demo time is whenever we really learn the most because our minds are open to receiving and learning new ways to do things. So I've got this gorgeous stencil that's called Hand Cut Net from the Crafters Workshop. You can find it at canalovercrafts.com. And how did it get to be so late? And I'm going to put that hand cut net over the top of this and I think we need just a little bit of a darker probably go back to that denim blue and watch how this is going to pop it doesn't take a lot we're just going to slide it over just let our palette knife glide over that surface Oh yes, and that looks really chunky and very unusual. And I gotta say, I love it. That's very, very nice. So just look at everything that we've created so far. Banana leaves, a hand cut net, patriotic, flowers, I don't even know if there's going to be enough room to show all of these. Look at those gorgeous daisies. Those are so pretty. Beautiful snowflakes. More patriotic with a basket weave. And those gorgeous shocks of wheat. Look at that. Okay. 
So, that's my demo for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've had a wonderful time um, getting some stencil butter techniques with me today. Uh, once again, the uh, discount code for one of a kind viewers is OOAK. Enter that at checkout at Ken Oliver Crafts and you get 15% off your entire order today. Thank you so much and I hope you have a really crafty weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, this was so much fun. Thank you again.